the film, the fan, the film, the fan, the film, the fan, the film fan wins. Before you carry on with this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down to the, the, the make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and like this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the film and twins. And today we are going to be doing a lovely video mm. of Jack the Ripper. Yes. So serial killer. Welcome back to Conspiracy Cove. Yay! Indeed. Uh, so. We will start off this video by explaining who the blob blub the blob <laughs> Who the blob was. <laughs> who who Jack the Ripper was. And then we will talk about, you know, possible candidates, you mm. know, blah blah blah. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Yes. So Jack the Ripper was a serial killer who killed between August and November eighteen eighty eight. I just <clears throat> <laughs> okay. It sounded like you weren't convinced. It's like that's what happened. Um, in Whitechapel, London, in and around like Whitechapel, London, there are five known victims: Mary Shelley, uh, Mary Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> She's not <laughs> Mary Shelley. <laughs> there are five. I'm sorry. I have to read off this because otherwise I'm not going there. Mary Ann Nichols. Yeah. Nichols. Thirty mm first -hmm. of August. Annie Chapman on the 8th of septem September, <laughs> Elizabeth Stride on the 30th of September, Catherine Eddowes on the 30th of September, which is the same night as um, Elizabeth Stride. And just down the road. Well, not like... <laughs> Not from us. From not me. from us. Mary Jane Kelly on the 9th of November, but he could have possibly killed more. Now, I don't know the exact number of how many people he could have killed, but it was more than eight, five. Yeah. All of five, yeah. Those are just some of the main that he did kill. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Jack Ripper gets his name from a letter sent to the police. Letter. Letter. <laughs> <laughs> sent, much, I'm sounding really London. Um, I sent to the police that was claiming to be from Jack the Ki Jack the Ki <laughs> <laughs> Jack the Kipper. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Um, but he was also given the names the White Chapel Murderer and <laughs> the, the Leather Apron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are several candidates for who could have been Jack the Ripper. Right, yeah. So there was one witness who described mm. him. So he was described as aged but around 34 to 35, 5 foot 6 in height. Not uh, leg. What? Not leg. Not leg, no. <laughs> Just so they're putting this out there, I am 5 foot 6, but I am not Jack the Ripper. I am five foot two. <laughs> a pale complexion with dark eyes and eye, eye eyelashes, a slight moustache curled up at each end. Uh, oh yes, hair dark, very surly looking. I don't know what surly means. <laughs> um, <laughs> he had a a long dark collar. Coat. No, he had a long dark coat. <laughs> I just have a long dark collar. Because it says colour and cuffs. Oh right, yes. He had a long dark coat and collar and cuffs. Um, he also wore a dark jacket underneath the coat, a light waistcoat, light trousers, um, dark, a dark felt hat t turned down in the middle, button boots. <laughs> button boots. And a very thick gold chain with, li with a linen collar. Black tie, horseshoe pin, and he had he had a respectable appearance and walked very sharply. Yes. Uh, so here are five uh, of the most interesting in interesting suspects. So number one is Prince Albert Victor, Duke of Clarence and. Uh, Avondale. Avondale. I nearly said Arundel. <laughs> Avondale. Uh, he's also the que the queen. <laughs> he's also the grandson of Queen Victoria, who, if you didn't know, ruled uh, England in the Victorian era. She did. H. Uh, H. Holmes. You know that serial killer who 
uh, killed all them people in his hotel, mm. known as the Murder Castle. Aaron Kosminski, uh, Montagu Druitt, and George Chapman. We can rule out Prince Albert as he possibly wasn't in the country. And we can also probably rule out H.H. H. Holmes as there is no concrete evidence to suggest that he is the serial killer. Even though he was a serial killer in America, it's unlikely he was the same person as Jack the Ripper. Uh, oh yes, and Aaron Kozwinski uh, was a Polish barber, hairdresser, born 11 September 1865, making him 23 during the... Far, the, the, the during the... Murders. Time of the murders. He physically matched the description to an extent, meaning he didn't fit the age profile, but he did look very similar to what someone suggested they looked like. Uh, Monsco Druitt came from a upper middle class background, born in 1857. He worked as an assistant school. 1857? 1857. I thought it was 1837. 57. He worked as an assistant schoolmaster before being removed from his post for unknown reasons around the time of the murders. Mm -hmm. And his death, his death, which was suicide, co coincided, my stomach just went. I can hear. Um, really his death by suicide coincided with the end of the killings. George Chapman was a, a um, confirmed serial killer. Wait, what? Of course, a confirmed serial killer who went by the borough <coughs> Who went by the bar of mud, mud, the, the bar of poisoner? Uh, he poisoned three witch, three witches. <laughs> <laughs> he poisoned three victims. Um, his killing spree was from eighteen ninety seven to eighteen to nineteen o two. This would be after the Ripper killings, but it is possible that he could have been the killer. He could have been Jack the Ripper, just testing out the way he wanted to kill people. He was. Um, he was caught after poisoning these three people, and he was sent to. He was. He was. His punishment was capital punishment, which basically means he was hung. Why have you got my phone? In '93, I hid it from you, mm. so now you couldn't use it. Because <laughs> I know you're always there. Just like <laughs> <laughs> you are. Anyway, um, the most likely candidate is Aaron Kosminski, as he lived in the area. Him, that's basically saying it was murdered by me, because she agreed in the area. His death coincided with the killings, <laughs> like I said, and he matched the description to an extent. And recent evidence links to him being a possibility due to him suffering with mental health. And at the time, uh, it was it was believed that he could his mental health could have had an impact on him killing people. Mm. Um, obviously, mental health doesn't make you a serial killer. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, otherwise, me and Tash would be like murdering everyone we saw. Um, but yeah, it's possible that that could have been the case. Um, however, no suspect has been confirmed as the. Oh, also, Aaron, because. No, wait. Yeah. And also, because obviously his death coincided with the abrupt end of the killing spree, uh, it is completely feasible to imagine that he could have been the killer. Yeah, because the last murder of Jack the Ripper was in November 1888 and Aaron Kosminski died November 1888. Coincidence? I think not. Um, obviously we don't want to blame him because if he's not the killer, God bless his soul, you know. Mm. Uh, but anyway, no suspect has been confirmed as the killer, leaving this conspiracy unsolved. unsolved. Who do you think the serial killer? Who the so the rip the ripper, the Jack the Jack is? <laughs> Who do you think Jack the Ripper was? Uh, leave your comments down below if you have any more um, suspects. I know that there was at least a hundred suspects. Yeah. That's how little they knew who the serial killer was because that was a hundred people. Uh, so he's mentioned the first five. Anyone, because no one knows who Jack the Ripper was, any one of us could be a descendant of Jack the Ripper. And if you are a descendant of Jack the Ripper, you're in for a lot of money. Yeah. So, uh... Don't become a serial killer, though. No. I don't think people should be rewarded for their ancestor murdering people. <laughs> but, um... Oh, and if you didn't know how Jack the Ripper killed his victims, uh, he basically cut them up, 
uh, you know, he, he was a very violent murderer, wasn't he? Yes. He's, he took off body parts, and it was con people were convinced he was a doctor or a surgeon mm. of some kind. Um, Aaron Koswinski was a barber, and back then barbers used little knives to, uh, you know, cut um, hair. Yeah. Uh, like Sweeney Todd. I was about to mention Sweeney Todd. But yeah, um, so it is completely possible that he knew how to use a knife, which would have led to him, you know, being able to precisely, you mm. know, take someone's breast <coughs> away from their body and put it by their ear. Um, so yes, there are some pictures of what happened to the victims, but we're not going to show them because yeah, that's what they're very disturbing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this video. If you know anything else about Jack the Ripper, do let us know. Yeah. Uh, let us know what conspiracy you want us want us to look into um, in the next conspiracy code video, and we will see you filmies next time. Sorry, I had a yawn. Next Friday. Yeah. Bye. This Friday we're uploading. Oh, never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I meant for our next video. Hey. Um. <laughs>